It also uh, pointed out that a high proportion of EAL pupils in a school does not have a negative impact on the attainment and progress of other pupils. So it's very useful to be able to um, uh, have the research evidence, and there's other evidence I quoted earlier that, that confirms that that myth is incorrect. I'll give way to the Honourable Lady. Thank you. Um, now, you've just said that it doesn't have a negative impact on the other pupils. My experience was actually it had an extremely positive impact on the other pupils, and in fact having these pupils in their class gave them something to aim for because they were seeing a different way in which students could work. So it really had a, a huge advantage. Um, and and my, that is my own experience, but I'm, I'm quoting the academic research here in an attempt to sort of, you know, get us into the habit of using evidence to make education policy something that's sort of disappeared in recent years, I'm afraid. And um, it's backed up, this, this, this research backed up well, the research I quoted earlier on from the uh, University of Oxford, because the study uh, finds that the percentage of EAL pupils in a school has a minimal association with student attainment and progress once student background is taken into account. So once the 